Hey yo everyone, Ike here and welcome back to the next episode of Scrap Mechanics Survival. And alright, as you maybe saw in the live stream or maybe not, now I have all three of these bad guns. So let's try them out in this episode and also what I want to do. Maybe you remember from the previous episode, we went in the warehouse and there were these encryptors. Basically one encryptor is for connection and one encryptor is for building blocks. So. We need to blow them up. Let's actually see if we can pick up any blocks after we blow up those things off the wall. Because once they are off the wall, the whole thing should be like the usual building. And another thing which I want to do, because I think that warehouse will be quick. I, as you can see, I started to build this automated planting system, which works. Well, it doesn't really work at all right now. And the issue is that right now it's on the piston here two pistons and let me show what happens if, I, if it moves out it like detects up here there's like these blocks and the sensor shoots shoots each field and that's all a great and awesome well you already saw the one downside is that it shoots wherever there is a field if whatever there is something in it in the field or not and the other issue is that that was the max that that was like 15 blocks and one would say that let's just put two pistons like this attach to the switch like this and now let me show what happens let's show these ones so now if I press the button you'll see that it shoots in each second field see something like this and that's because the vacuum pump doesn't work as fast as it moves out and the more pistons you put it like uh, one after other the more the faster it will go but what I, I will do is I'll just make it on the electric engine and I'll put some wheel on the top here which will have like consistent speed I guess I'll have like two engines and two bearings so I can drive it back and forth and in that way I won't really need any pistons which I, which means I'll be able to like make maybe like all five lines will go with two engines one engine back and one engine forward well, you will see what I mean later on. But all right, now let's go to the warehouse and try to explode it even more. I know I have been in the warehouse almost in each episode, but I really want to. I really want to finally like uh, end the game basically, because I guess right now that's like the end game for scrap mechanic is to blow up those encryptors. All right, let's put down everything we don't need. This is the most we can do so far until we receive more updates. So I really hope that something will happen. Wait, did I place lift there? Alright. Right, and let's do the same as I did in the live stream. Let's put a um, lift down if we can. Put the explosive down. Wait, we can't? It's too big. Um, Alright, we can place here. Let's put the explosive on top move it in like this and explode it now and see what will happen because eventually it should come off the wall because I have enough explosives and if it does if it does anything it will do right now all right let's actually activate like this all right move it up all right so what did happen now um it's almost detached. Let's see. It's literally holding on two blocks. That's nice. That's really nice. Um, maybe you can just place explosive in this. Oh well, yeah, we can't really place anything on the ground. So if I go like this, all right, let's try one more time. But I can't really see. Well, I have enough time to run away. All right. Right, so, please, come off the wall. What? Is that it? Can we maybe squeeze through here? Let's try to blow that hole a little bit bigger. Thanks God I had that many explosives with me. Let's move the lift a little bit lower. Let's put it like this and it should blow up those blocks. Or maybe that 
It's like in the middle, it can it blows to the sides and not in the center. So let's try like this. Let's see what damage it will do now. Right, we have bigger hole. Wow, that's giant hole. So it does look like um that it blows to sides, not not from the center. Like if you put something in center, it might even survive. So now we can put the lift down here and put explosive right under it. Yeah, let's not go inside. Let's go something like this. Right. And here we go. Wait. It came off the wall. I can't pick up the blocks. But yes, it came off the wall. Um. Now let's try to hit it so it flies over. Oh wait, there's a hole. Um. How oh, I could feel that hole? Because it will fall in that hole there. Let's blow up the something on the side so maybe we can smash it on the side. Let's just first. All right. Well, this is totally not what I wanted to happen. Hmm, yeah, let's put it, or maybe let's put a lift down here, I don't think, I don't think this is a smart idea, but let's put a lift and, yeah, too bad I don't have locks with me, I have only explosives. Let's try to put one explosive here and blow some bigger hole. I still have no idea how I'll get it outside. Right, so, here it goes. I really hope that Encryptor won't blow up. Right, now I have bigger hole without the hole. <laughs> Alright, let's put the lift for extra safety. Um, maybe even further. Alright, something like this so it doesn't fall in. And let's try to... Smash it out if it falls. Well, we fall in. I was but safe if, if that thing falls in there. We will blow it out. All right, now I'm stuck in kind of. We need to make get it out of that. Hole. Um, how we could <laughs> do it? Let's see, can I? I can't really see connections still. Yeah, too bad, I can't pick it up or put it on the lift or something. Would be so awesome if I could. Well, now it's totally stuck it there. Let's maybe try to blow up that other thing out as well. So we have that detached. And let's put it one here. And blow it up. I really hope I won't die. Alright, I didn't die. Right and now this is this is much bigger bigger hole. Like you can see that they were making some kind of like a floor or in here that you can pick it up later. And now we are just blowing it, <laughs> blowing it up. Alright. It's still not off the wall. Wait, it is off the wall. It's just that it doesn't want to come off. Alright, now, now it came off. Um, any connections? Anything to pick up? No, why? Yeah, I believe they made these holes here for a reason, so people don't get these things out. Let's actually try to blow a side hole as well, so we have some space. <gasps> oh my god! No, I don't want to get stuck in. I already did once. This time I have all the spell guns and everything with me. 
And explosives, that's most importantly. I'm actually really curious who... Who figured out that you can actually blow something up here. Alright. A hole we have, and this more... More convenient hole. So let's try not to... Crush it somewhere... No, but stuck it somewhere. Let's take the lift away. Because I believe once it's out outdoors, it should actually work. And we have a hole down there, so... All we have to do is try to get it over the fence. Alright. Over the pillars. Um, let's jump down here. Right, so we have a hole here. And we have elevator right here, it goes to the f to the roof. So, hmm. How I could smash it up so it doesn't get under here. Let's blow up a bigger hole in here. So we have some, maybe some pipe pieces, because all we need is to try to get up there. Or maybe they'll just lift will help. No, let's put explosive as well. Alright, we have a bigger hole now. Alright, alright. Please don't fall down. Alright, he's it's almost up, it's almost up. Now let's just make a nice hit. Oh, we have a thingy here. Why I was struggling so bad. Alright, let's go around on the ramp. Alright, on the ramp it is. Alright. Now let's go to the elevator. I really hope this will work. Please stay with me, please stay with me. Please stay with me. I really want you. Please stay with me. Please stay with me outside. Alright. Yes, we got it outside. Can I? Alright, I can grab it. Yes, 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 yes. Wait, I can't grab this thing. What? I cannot connect? I can't put it in the inventory, but I can't put it on the lift? Alright, this is interesting. Um... Wow, this is awesome. Can I weld it to something? Right. Right, so this is... This should be like the anti-destructor, so nothing can be destroyed. Um, wait. Did I weld it? Did I weld it to the ground? No freaking way! And I can't pick it up anymore! Oh my god! Really? Alright, so I couldn't think any way how to pick it up, so that's why I went in the dev mode. I won't really cheat, but I really want to get off the ground, so let's try the crypt command. If I could write, write the Three crypt the crypt. All right, decrypted. Let's see. Oh, I can even use it. Do I want to use it? I just want to pick it up. Will that be cheating if I run with it in my inventory to my house, or should I just smash it? I guess everyone will say that I need to smash it to get to my house or well to my truck, which actually is down there. Which actually isn't that hard, so let me... Actually, I'll just jump down and roll to my car. Imagine I was just smashing it down. It will save some, some time in this way. But I... When I'll go down there, I'll... Or, when I'll go down there, I'll disable decryption. So, in case, or whatever. 
something happens and it ruins like this dev mode it ruins my my base i want don't want to run with run with dev mode enabled at my base so that's why let's jump it down well to my car and then let's drive home <gasps> whoa what we didn't died <laughs> we jumped on the fence and we didn't died all right, back to scheduled program. Let's go and get the encryptor to my base and place it somewhere proudly. And I believe the second encryptor, which is still left inside, I will be able to get it out. I just don't need to weld it to the ground. All right, so we are home and where I could put the encryptor. So I remember, always remember that I got it. It also needs to be somewhere where I can detach blocks from the back. Imagine if I put it on the ground. Well, I guess I could just remove it again with the dev tool. Um, maybe let's put it here for now. All right, I can't really do anything with it, nor remove it anymore. Let's see. Yeah, I can't really remove it. But I guess I can remove the blocks. And let's actually see. Can I? Yes, I can remove from the building blocks. Connection tool. It still help connection tool. Let me actually get a switch. And see what it will do. Um, do I have any switch? I have button. Let's actually see if I press the button, will it do anything? Oh, I can connect this one and this one. To the engine I can connect? To the light? Let's see. Let's see what, to what else I can connect it. To the controller. Can I? I really hope I won't ruin anything. No, I can't connect to the controller. What else I can? To the engine? Let's see what happens if I connect to the engine. No, it doesn't want to be connected to the engine. Yeah, too bad, I can't connect to the switch. The piston? No, can't put the piston. Anything else? Logic gate? Or logic gate to... Oh, I can't attach to the logic gate. What? And uh, let's turn on with this one. So basically, we have turned it on, theoretically. Imagine if it worked. But yeah, let's keep it, keep it with us. So, so whenever they do something or make something that it does something. <laughs> Then we'll have it already, but that's insane that we have it. Alright, now let's start to make this automated system. I guess I'll leave this rail here. We just need to make somehow some drivable thingy which will drive about this line. Right, so far I have made something like this, but it looks like we'll need third wheel, so let's try to attach it somewhere. All right, that works. Let's see, will it will it plant in each field? Too bad I can't see any action from the from the water con, con cannon. Oh no, there's a farming right. <laughs> well, I have enough fields, I guess. So yeah, basically this concept could actually work. I have three sensors which which gets triggered at the right moment. I have the speed. I I am able to make somehow that it sucks in the water. Now I just need to think the way how it will return. The original state. Um, well, yeah, I guess, like I said <laughs> ten, 10 times already, I'll just make another engine and another set of bearings on each end and just make it that it goes one direction. Let's say there's one, some, some block line which moves up, triggers one sensor, goes one direction, and one tree, that it goes down, triggers the second sensor and moves backward. And just like that all the way, all the time. 
Or maybe it's some like timer delay, like each five minutes it does this. I just got the idea. What if I make this whole thing like lower? So it goes under the base, goes here, starts to get water, and I have like a timer where I have measured how long it takes to like fill up the water container where it fills up and it repeats this whole thing like each, let's say each five minutes, so I'm not really sure how long it takes to fill up the water container. So basically, it comes here, fills the water container, goes back and forth, comes back, fills the water container, goes back and forth. Yeah, that would be awesome. I know it won't be as easy as I just say, but it just it's just mind-blowing that it actually could work. But I guess I'll leave this whole building to the next episode, because in this episode we already were in the warehouse, got the encryptor. But I, I believe that will be all for this episode of Strap Mechanic Survival. Leave a like if you like it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!